Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Well. All right. I'll see what I can do. I'll have to put in a call. Okay. Video chat. Well, what's that? Oh, you know how to do it? Okay. Okay. You get a hold of them. Call me back. All right. Okay. Bye. What a year. This year has been absolutely the worst I've had. Supply chain shortages. I've had Mrs. Claus, who's come down with a, a urinary tract infection. So we've had to pull all of the cranberries off the trees and the reeds so we can grind them up and make juice because she has to put has to push cranberry juice. Oh good lord. And then, and then on top of all of that. You know what I have? I have somebody named Cajun Roots reseller Johnny who's managed to corner the market on all the moon pies that the kids have been asking for. I got off the phone a little while ago. I had to get a hold of the Keebler Elves and route them out of their little tr hollow tree so they're gonna come up and at least get us some more gingerbread and sugar cookies made. I hate to disappoint the kids, but you know, obviously Johnny needed those moon pies worse than the children. So, uh, oh, uh, oh no. And the worst thing, the worst thing ever. Last night, down at the North Pole Civic Center, we had our annual all reindeer nutcracker and Dancer, of course, had the principal lead. And it was, it was amazing. First, the pirouettes, and then the arabesques. And then he went back to make his final leap. Unfortunately, he didn't judge the stage lighting. And his antlers got caught up in the lights fell flat to the floor on top of one of the wooden soldiers and completely smashed his sleigh bells. It's so sad. So, that's why I've got my video call coming in. Have you been able to get a hold of him yet? All right. And I just don't know what we're gonna do. We were trying so hard to get the kids everything that they wanted. I've got problems with PETA. They're afraid that we are not taking care of the animals properly. We've got the elves that are in a real tizzy because the South Pole, the South Pole has been contacting them about global warming like they can do anything about it. Then we found out that our Starbucks has gone on strike. So the elves can't have their morning caffeine. I tell you what, it's just been awful. We are trying, we are trying, we are trying. Oh, do, do you have him on the line? Oh, wonderful. Mark? Mark? Yeah. Is that you? Yep. I'm reaching out to two old guys, vintage and resale. And Mark, where, where's Michael? Is he at work? Yes. Oh, what a pity. But anyway, I need to ask you something. I need to have a real favor from you. Can you help me out? What would that be, Santa? I need Cowboy Bob. I need him to come up to the North Pole. C can we borrow him? Sure. The vet says that Dancer is going to need a series of deep tissue massages and ice packs. And we know that that Cowboy Bob would be the one to handle it. So, can we count on you? Yep. Oh, wonderful. I'm so glad. Oh, 
And by the way, what are you and Michael got planned for Christmas? Well, we are doing uh, our regular show, only it's all going to be giveaways. And we are going to be with Vintage Jewels, Gems, and Pearls, Margie. And that's on Christmas Day? Christmas Day. Are you daft? At 5 p.m. 5 p.m.? Is that Central, Central Daylight Time? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I am so glad. I'm so happy that there's someone giving back. And I'll tell you what, Mark, I need to get off the line because they're here now to do the uh, mandatory drug testing on the reindeers before they take off in flight. But I'll try to get back with you, maybe tomorrow. Would that be all right? That would be fine. Tell Cowboy Bob that the Polar Express will be waiting for him. It sure will. Thanks a lot. Okay. I'll get you with an update. All right. Bye-bye.